Hey YouTube, it's Dusty here from Desert Rebels Airsoft and today I'm just going to take a couple minutes to go over my loadout for when I go airsofting, so please enjoy the video. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with is the SOCOM gear, the full metal M9A1 SOF. This is an amazing pistol. The slime is completely constructed out of metal. The lower frame is also metal for a realistic feel and weight. The one thing I like about this is there is an undermount rail to mount your lasers and your flashlights and whatever you want to put on there. And in the box is a 14 millimeter counterclockwise threaded adapter so you can attach a barrel extension. Uh, that comes with the gun for even like a more realistic look if you want. The grips are textured panels for comfortable feel without or with or without gloves. Okay. And some things about this is the manufacturer is SOCOM gear. This shoots around 300 to 350 FPS, which is perfect for a close quarter uh, matches. And the magazine captivity is it holds 26, including in the chamber. And uh, so all together, this gun comes with uh, the gun, of course, the magazine, threaded adapter, and it comes with a barrel extension, but I have it on my scar here. Um, so yeah, overall this is a very nice gun, and I use it a lot, and it's around 180 I believe. So if you want to purchase that, it's definitely worth it. Okay, and then moving on, I have my scar. It's the VFC Full Metal FN Herschel Scar L MK16 STD Airsoft Gun. It's a long name, but just call it the Scar L. It's whatever. So, um, this is a fantastic primary if you uh, are looking for a new one. The Scar L maintains many features, which the lower receiver is constructed from sturdy polymer plastic, which reduces the weight. The top is constructed out of uh, full metal, and the magazine relief and selector switch is ambidextrous, which I uh, like because I'm always switching from left to right. And one thing that not most guns have is a cheek riser, six point adjustable stock, and it folds. See, most guns will either have like one of those. But no, this one has all three, which makes it really comfortable, which is very nice. And um, so this shoots around 400 FPS, which is about a little bit over for close quarters. But you can always get a spring adjustment for like 15 bucks. And that'll lower it. You can lower it down to like 320, which is where I go. That's like the limit. And um, the package includes the gun in the high cap mag and fully licensed trademark so this is a great gun it doesn't come with the silencer which is by uh, Gemtech and it uh, doesn't yeah it, com it comes with the grip and the front sight and the back sight and um, it doesn't come with the laser though I got that for free with the free gift thing for ordering a hundred dollars or more but anyways, so moving on, I have the Stoplight Vertical Flashlight Grip by Cybergun. You can get this for $55. See? It's hard to see because it's bright outside, but it's really nice. You can attach it under your gun. One thing I like about this is, see, you have three buttons right here. This one turns it on so it'll stay on by itself, which is really nice. And then this, which I like, it's a strobe mode. And then you can just leave it there. And then that switches it back to regular, which I, I think this is an amazing gun. One thing I don't necessarily get about this is on the side here, you have a pointless little red flashlight that in the complete darkness does no, like, wellness. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. It serves no purpose. It's not bright at all, so it doesn't illuminate anything. 
but you know what it's whatever it's a great uh, flashlight if you're looking for one so now I'm going to move on to my aim sports fiber optic 4x32 red green dot tactical combat scope oh yeah here it is you can purchase this for I believe 120 the only sad part is it's discontinued so they do not make it anymore but I just wanted to point it out because I said I'd be going over everything I use and yep right here I have a combat knife for up close and now I am going to show you more of the back so right here I have my mid cap P mag with the mag pull on it uh, has the fake bullets inside which gives it a real like realistic look which I, I think is pretty cool and then see I'm more of a high cap kind of person I go around corners spraying so I like to use my high caps but uh, they're still pretty cool and then I have my face mesh half and I have rubber padded gloves so I always get shot in the hand so this is really helpful the padding it you can't feel a thing when you shoot uh, at it so what I did one time just to see if it would work is I took my pistol put this on held it right to here pulled it didn't even hurt so these are uh, really nice if you're looking to get some um, gloves I have goggles and I have I have my Desert Digital Combat Pants Desert Digital Combat Shirt and then I have a black pair of Combat Pants and Combat Shirts uh, so I play night games, I'll use the black day games you know, I'll use the Desert Digital I have green gas which powers my uh, M9 blowback and then some more things that I have is I have my vest. This is a nice vest. Um, it comes, it doesn't come with this mag pouch right here. It comes with a pistol holder. So uh, I bought this separately and I replaced it. And then it has uh, pistol mag holders and it has regular magazine. Then on the back, but yeah, it's a pretty nice vest. I'm not quite sure what the name is, but you'll be able to find it on Airsoft GI. Yeah. And then here's another vest. This is for my night games. This is a nice vest too. Both these vests are about, I want to say like around a hundred something. And then. Holding all this on, I have my um, blue shemag. This is what I use with my headgear. I put this on, my goggles, and then I wrap the shemag around it all. Uh, yeah, so one more thing before I go. I have a two-point bungee sling which attaches onto my scar. As you can see. It just makes it really easier when you're like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really nice. I like it. I purchased it at my local airsoft store. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.